thanks for the opportunity to uh, pitch our idea. The problem that we want to solve is that friends of mine, like Sober St. Denis Picture here, live in rural mountain areas in poor countries, this is from Haiti, and have no way to get a measurement of the quality of health care that they receive. And without the quality metrics available, hospitals cannot improve their quality. Even though they would like to deliver better care, if they don't know what, how they're doing, they don't know how to improve or prioritize possible uh, interventions for improvement. So we propose to use a locally uh, available resource, which has been used for all kinds of applications in global health. These are my five friends who are community health workers in this region. Now, you can't just say community health workers, that it's not a, an innovation or an intervention, really. You have to choose them very wisely. So we choose people that have high degrees of intrinsic motivation because they're from the target communities that we're hoping to serve in the rural mountains. They've been, been identified by a locally uh, available pastor and health agent who's been served the region for 20 years. He identified these people for me and said these people will, will be of high character. And then you have to supervise them and incentivize them to actually perform the task that you're designing for them. So we wrote specific contracts with paper performance incentives and specific line item deductions for late visits or bad photographs or the other tasks that we were asking them to perform. And then we equipped them with an appropriate work tool. So we designed a mobile health application written in Haitian Creole that's very simple and able uh, them, they're able to perform the task. It consists of 10 yes, no questions on the symptoms of surgical site infection. We chose infection as the target metric because it's applicable to all types of surgery. If you cut a person's skin, they're at risk for infection. We dream one day of having specific outcome questionnaires for specific problems, but we started with a universal one. The ninth question asks them to submit a photograph of the incision, and then they have to build, make their own assessment. This was really important because we want their skills to grow and the responsibility for their patients to uh, be larger than it was in the beginning, and this has really worked for them. And the reports can be sent offline, or the data can be stored on the phones offline, and then when signal strength is available, they can submit the, um, the report. We know it works because we actually conducted a successful pilot project last spring. We did 40 patients. These are some representative photographs that they were submitted from in the field. The upper left-hand corner is a My Nikon SLR with a post editing for contrast. The other photographs are non-edited images from the mobile phones submitted from rural Haiti. I get a report on my mobile phone here in the United States within five minutes, and I can see these photographs and the answers to all the questions. We can plot the GPS, GPS data location of where they are. Other mobile health initiatives have had data quality problems because they're asking for free text entry. And I'm asking these health workers to do a lot of hard work. It's tough to sludge out 10 miles to these houses in the hot conditions. And so other programs have had data falsification issues because people sit at home and enter the data and don't go actually out to the houses. But if you've got a GPS data point and you've got a photograph from an incision, you can't fake it. Nevertheless, we saw very high levels of outputs. So these are our program process metrics. 95% of our visits were done uh, out at 30 days. The, the two that we missed were actually out working in the fields when the health worker showed up at their house. And so we presume they have an out adequate outcome in order to be able to be back at work. Um, and 91% of our visits were done on time. 95% of the photographs came in at the same quality you've just seen. And I'll show you how we measure agreement, but the surgeons agreed with our health worker diagnosis of infection overall 84% of the time. We're gonna evaluate this in two different ways. The first of which is in high risk patients, those who have dirty wounds who are high risk for infection. And here we think that mobile health follow-up can actually be an intervention to reduce morbidity. And we'll me measure it in a randomized fashion uh, for infections, readmission rate, reoperation rate, and mortality. For uh, patients who have low risk, we'll follow them prospectively, like we're doing now. The health workers visit them at home, then 24 hours later, the surgeons see them in person. Surgeons will get the report from the, the mobile phone and make an assessment, and then 24 hours later, they will see the patient in person and make an assessment. And we will measure agreement between what the health worker says and what the surgeon says when they see the report, what the health worker says and what the surgeon says in person, and then what the surgeon says on the report and what the surgeon says in person, and follow the same uh, metrics. The team in place is a local hospital, uh, the Center for Surgeon Public Health in Boston, and SANA from MIT, and we've been working together for two years. The impact is we think this is the potential model for outcomes measurement in global health. 
We think that poor people, like my friend, deserve a system of healthcare that's invested in improvement. We would use the $10,000, thank you.